MB Media and Design Content Curation Day. Right now, I'm here with Essa. What's going on? Uh, I'm chilling. What's going on with you? <laughs> I'm good. How you feeling today? I'm always good. good. Same old, same old. <laughs> I know you're a busy man, so, but I wanted to know, I know you host a podcast and you do a lot of behind the scenes work. Um, explain a little bit about what you do. Uh, I'm a manager first and foremost. Okay. Um, I started out managing a long, long time ago. I managed producers, songwriters, singers, rappers, whatever, whatever, people that act, things of that nature. Um, I've been best friends with Clue for like maybe 20 years. And um, and I podcast and I started a podcast with um, the Heineken and uh, it's called Bag Fuel. Mm -hmm. And I also got one with um, Clue, it's a sports podcast we call TOTV, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just do a lot of things. I'm just really somebody that just um, that connects the dots. Okay. Like I, I really don't want to manage no more. Mm -hmm. So I can get people beats. I can get people songs, songwriters, get them in front of the right record execs, mm -hmm. right DJs. I can help you launch your record. Mm -hmm. I do a whole bunch of stuff within the business. Is it hard to like get people for your podcast to get different talent or get the people that you want to talk to for the podcast? No, nah, not no, nah, it's not hard. Really, I'm they well, they tell me that I'm the one that makes it difficult because people try to get on the show and I don't want people on the show. Okay. <laughs> so um, so we spend a lot of time turning people down because. I tell them that I want the show to be about us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now my show with Clue will have more people on it mm -hmm. because he's already established and it's it's more of a, a sports platform. Right. You know what I'm saying? But with us, I feel like that we're trying to launch the careers that we have in front of the camera. So people need to focus on us and they need to know that we have knowledge about the things that we're talking about. Right. And then we gradually bring in guests. And all my guests are like Neo and Trina, people that are friends of mine. Mm -hmm. So we got other people coming on, like J. Cole's gonna be on, and 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 um and David Con Sue's gonna be on the show. Common committed to me, said that he would be on the show, mm -hmm. but we're just spreading it all out. Um I just don't wanna be known to have guests on the show because where are you gonna go from there? Yeah. If people tuning in. Because it's it's hard to get guests because schedules are crazy. You gotta fly them out. You know what I'm saying? So we just been blessed that people want to be on the show. So when they come to New York, they like, yo, are you available? Can y'all do it? Some and some we get done, some we don't. We missed out on um Hit Boy because he wanted to be on it or was willing to be on it. Then we had um YG again that we could have had on the show, but we couldn't get him on the show. So we kind of miss out on stuff too. Okay. What's the main goal, like, when it comes to creating content? Well, mine is to, um, to bring knowledge. Um, bag fuel is designed to fuel people's mind to get to the bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have a philosophy that in the black community, within the business and stuff like that, we don't share the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, but the white people normally share the knowledge. That's why they keep the money coming, and we keep the knowledge to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I decided to join forces with Heineken and then um, and bring the knowledge because he always says, yo, Randy, you 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 talk different. That that's my real name. People know me like that. But you know what I'm saying? He said, yo, you just talk different. You you've seen different things. So and he said people don't really share that. And I'm willing to share the knowledge. And that's the difference between the show that we have compared to what everybody else does. That's really dope. And you work hand in hand with Clue, like you said before. You've been friends for years. How important do you think it is in this day and age, like the radio game? Well, radio is still important. I mean, if, if you check the stats, 77% of the people still hear new music on the radio. You know what I'm saying? So everybody doesn't have the technology. Like, I don't like looking for music. I'm not like my daughter. My daughter will look for music, go, Dad, yo, this is what's going on. But me, I like to hear it freshly, maybe inside the club, maybe on the radio. And um, that's when I determine if, if I like it because there's so much out, out there right now. How are you going to weed out what's good and what's not? And it takes so much that goes into a record, a budget, marketing, club dates, relationships, travel, parties, hosting, so it takes so much to go into a record now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, speaking of your show, you have the Triangle Offense um, show. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let's talk about the NBA a little bit. Who would be your big three? What, my top three players? Yeah. Um, my <laughs> top three players. players. Um, definitely Kawhi is the top three player. Uh-huh. I mean, we said that on, on my show already. KD definitely was before he got hurt with the Achilles. I really don't know right now. <laughs> um, I'm still putting LeBron in the top three. Okay. And um, I would have to go with Harden. I know everybody would say Giannis, but I'm, I'm going to go with Harden. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's let's go over to the rap game. Who's your big three right now in rap? Whoa, big I three know. in rap. <laughs> well, Drake got to be number one. Right now, I think Meek is a strong number two because everybody is really on Meek pause right now. Um, but the number three slot, um, it's tricky. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to go left and I'm going to say Gucci Mane. Okay. Because he, he got a lot of uh, seeds around right now that people don't know. He's involved with a lot of rappers that people love. And he's a it influence to a lot of people right now, and he's still putting out music. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, 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 I'm gonna give it to Gucci. Okay, that's a good big three. All right. Now, talking about social media because social media is so important now during this day and age. What, what should be the one universal rule that every artist should follow when it comes to social media? Don't rely solely on social media. Bing. That's the number <laughs> one thing because I, I fight with people about this all the time. You need flyers still, because people aren't doing them as much. You need t-shirts. Like the biggest thing to push our show was selling the t-shirts, the sweatshirts and stuff, because people buy it and then they become a part of the show. Then they post it, put light on what we got going on. We repost them. It it gives you a chance to deal with your um, core fan base upfront and personal and it, and it shows you who, who, who really supports you mm-hmm. that people really want you to win if people really watching the show and if they're willing to support your show you got to put yourself out there there you go that was good advice um and now last question what would some advice be that you would give to someone that's trying to do it what you do right now what would you tell them mm-hmm. well, what is that? I mean, as far as the podcast, thing, you do everything. Mm-hmm. They want to do everything, Essa. <laughs> what what advice would you give them? Uh, <laughs> one, you gotta persevere. That's the first thing because there's gonna be times where you have a lot of money, and there's gonna be times where you have no money. Then you're gonna have money, and you're gonna have to reinvest it into yourself. You have to reinvent yourself. Um, Getting mo- the most knowledge that you can about the business will take you far. I do more marketing and promo now for people's records, right? But I started out solely as a manager of songwriters and producers. My first person that I ever managed was a DJ because I started out promoting parties. Mm-hmm. So my whole career has transcended all the way around. And then you meet people. There are people that have been trying to put me in movies, but I was scared to being in front of the camera. It wasn't until I came along that I actually trusted somebody that their judgment to work with them to be in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Like, I I had a chance to do this many a days, but you have to have, you have to know where you want to go and you have to have knowledge of where you're going and you have to have an actual hunger and thirst to want to do it. Like, he brought me into podcasting and it turned into television shows or YouTube shows or whatever and I, I, I haven't loved something like this since I love playing playing basketball when I was playing ball when I was young. You know what I'm saying? So when you love it, it doesn't feel like work. That's really dope. I appreciate you coming to sit down with us. No we doubt. appreciate everything you had to share today. Any last words? Uh follow YouTube, Bagfield on YouTube. Follow my gram, ESSO with the dots in it. You'll see me. It's the only dude up there with the sunglasses on. You know what I'm saying? And just follow your dreams. And that's all I got to say. MB Media and Design, Content Curation Day. A lot more to come. Stay tuned.